bubbles are always fun. And they're amazing because you can see the rainbow inside of them, yet you can still see through them. How does that happen? White light is made up of all the colours of the rainbow, and different colours correspond to different wavelengths. Which wavelengths amplify and cancel out depends on the thickness of the water layer. This thickness varies all over the soap bubble, so different wavelengths of light are being cancelled out and amplified at different parts of the bubble, and that's why we see different colours in different areas. This phenomena is called iridescence, and it explains why some substances seem to change color when sunlight hits them. To create your bubbles, you want to have a perfect circle. The best way to do that is to trace it. I'm using white chalk. I'm holding the cup with one hand and then skipping over my arm to get that full circle. I made a little mistake there, but no big deal. I can fix that later. I want to get several different size circles. So I'm using different tracer sizes. I want to press pretty hard when I'm tracing. And I'm going to get to do a few small bubbles holding little lids. Odd numbers are the most pleasing to look at. So I have one, two, three, four, five instead of four. Now that I have this, I need to add my color. Bubbles create an iridescence because they're clear and they catch light like a rainbow. So I have my chalk pastels. Some of these are pretty old. I'm only choosing rainbow colors. And I'm gonna go in rainbow order around the edge. And notice I'm not going straight back and forth. I'm curving it around. Whoops, I forgot to add my highlights. So I'm gonna add a little highlight section with my chalk, which is kind of a little curved triangle or a moon shape. And for the small ones, just a curved C. Notice I'm not running my hand along any of this because I'm going to smudge it so I'm keeping my hand picked up. I can also use a paper towel and unfold it in the areas where I don't want to smudge if I'm shading anything in. Okay, now that I've filled in my rainbow, take your fingers, wrap it in a paper towel to soften your edge. Dry paper towel, not a wet wipe for this. You can see it softened it all up. And before I go to my next bubble, I'm going to rewrap my finger in a clean section. Now is the part where I go back and I use white chalk. First I want to shade in some area. So I'm going from light to dark. I'm not going to shade in the whole thing solid white. Bubbles are see-through so they're not white. I'm just making some of my curve some of my bubble a little bit lighter, and then again, unfolding my paper towel the whole way, wrapping my finger, I'm gonna soften it. You can leave some black areas. Have some, you can see when I shade it in, I have gray to black to white. I do not have it all one solid color. Using the side of the chalk, and then I'm just filling in a little bit more, leaving some area black, and then taking my finger in the paper towel, I'm just gonna smooth it all out. This is the important part. So I kind of am getting a bubble, but I need to add more highlight. I'm going back over and around, pressing harder. You can have soft edges in, on some of the bubble and hard edges on another. You can see so here I just went over some of it, not the whole circle. And back around my highlight. Some of my bubbles look a little bit too solid. Remember, I don't want to smear it. If I smear it too much, I want to erase, but regular pencil erasers do not work for chalk pastel. I mean, they do work, but they leave little eraser boogers, is what I call them, and then I have to get rid of those too, and I'm making more smears. So I'm going to use a kneaded eraser. These kneaded erasers are really special, and they're not yours to keep, so make sure what, when you use something from the art room, it gets put back where it belongs when you're done, so it can be used at another time. Kneaded erasers work best for shading with pencil and with chalk pastel. So right now it's a little too solid. I'm gonna get back in there and I'm gonna erase some dark areas. They call it a kneaded eraser because you can stretch it and that's how you clean it, by stretching it, it cleans it. I can also make little points with it. So I wanna erase out some black spots again to make it a little more see-through looking. I'm staying in a curved motion this whole time. I can even do a second little layer 
of color, but I don't want to make it all around the whole thing, so I'm just filling in some of my space with one of my colors to make it stand out, and then again blending it to soften. Mm -hmm. 